Hello and welcome to Tharaic Place Darkest Dungeon. The following episode was recorded during one of my live streams on Twitch, so without further ado, let's jump into the episode. But for the last one of today, what do we go for? I'm looking for good trinkets or deeds. Don't need the protective padlock. I could try the profit. It's no deeds either, but we get deeds nowhere. And this way at least I get a decent trinket. And the Berserk Mars is not the, the worst ever. Um, not sure how much I'm going to use that. But I think it's the best that we have available right now. So let's let's go for another boss, sure. Um, and who do we bring for the Prophet? I need to be able to attack in the back. Which means I should bring a Hellion. Uh, she can attack back there. Um, who else? I do want a real healer. And we should bring up a healer to rank 3 anyways, so that I can... that I have one there. Um, Ruins Adventurer might be good, especially with Unholy Hater. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Sure, let's let's use Vestal. And now it becomes more complicated because who else do I have that can attack in the back there? Maybe want to go with Rusel uh, with the thrown dagger. Mm. Not completely sure about that. Well, a Highwayman, I think, is the obvious choice here uh, for now. Just because the pistol shot can hit in the back, and with clean guns we get our buffs, so let's use Tournay here. And then it's either a Plague Doctor or a Grave Robber. And I think I haven't been using my Grave Robber a lot so far, so we're going with the Grave Robber today. She's only rank 1. But I think this group should be okay to deal with that. It's nice if you can kill the f stuff in front of the Sonaras Prophet, but it's also not easy. You know what, what I could use is... You know what? Oh, do I want to? I could go with the Jester as well. And go with Finale and Dirk Stab. No, I think we're okay with this. Let's go with this group. I like this. Uh, let's go for upgrades first. And then we'll see weapons. He already has, she already has, she does not. And here we do need stuff, of course. We could hack the Iron Swan is the important thing here. And then the Beric Yop, of course. And the Adrenaline Rush doesn't hurt either. Sure. So you want your pistol skills, a pistol shot. And we can leave it at that for him, with him for now. Just because for the boss fight, that's the only thing that doesn't matter that much. We need to change her skills, though. It's not Shadow Fate. The poison darts can be decent, and the pick to the face as well. Because I'm not going to move her a lot. Uh, so I'm not reliant on that, or relying on that right now. Okay, nice, and she does have her skills. We should check camp camping skills, now that I am remembering it. Her sharpened spear is nice. He does have... I think we have enough skills that I don't need to go for... Enough useful skills that I don't necessarily need to go for more. Yeah, I think so. We're, I'm missing some buffs, but that's still okay. Uh, so I don't need to spend money there right now. So let's just go for that, and provision first. Um, unequip, sword by class, restriction. Junior's head, obviously, and then a Book of Sanity. The Sonorous Prophet fight is fairly stressful, if I remember correctly. And I just want to make sure that we can deal with him quickly. But I also will go for all the damage with this group. 
Uh, so I am not worried. I am ignoring the issue of stress here. That might present itself. Potentially. Let's go with that. And you get a focus ring, even though it does lower that, but it increases accuracy and crit. I don't want her to miss. But probably still the heavy boots. Yeah, that works fine. <clears throat> don't want her moved out of the first position. Although, there is one on her. Yeah, this one. Battle Trance. We are going to unlock that on her. Um, Battle Trance. And this is a quality of life thing that they did. If you only have three, you always start with three camping skills. And if you buy a fourth one, it it used to not get automatically activated. To be uh, to be able to be used, and now they automatically just activate them, so it's it's nice. Uh, so you can't buy it and then forget to to activate it. At least the first one here. Okay, one last look. Um, is there a reason why they should not do this? I don't see one. They all have their trinkets. Okay, let's go in there. And I would like to not always have to go into the ruins, but so far that's been the case. It's okay. I mean, you're not forced to go anywhere else if you don't want to. But it's 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 nice to have a little bit of changes. Although, screw the Cove on champion level. I hate that so much. Uh, wield usually is fine as well. It's just, it, it gets boring from time to time if you always go into the same dungeon. But in this case, it does make sense to go for the Prophet here. And I hope nobody is annoyed by the fact that I talked over that. that. It's, I've heard it so many times, but now, well, that's okay. So, um, he's either going to be here or there. Yep. Which means we do have quite the way to go. Everybody has the right skills as well. No, they don't, actually. Good thing that I checked. She was the only one I didn't check, I think, prior to going in here. And as always, the map is nice to begin with. As always, I'm hoping for a scout that will uh, reveal the, the boss fight so that I know where I'm going and I'm not going in a direction that I don't need to. As always, if I am in a good position after the boss fight, we'll try to uh, we'll try to uh, go for the rest of the rooms. But it's just just getting there first, of course, is is kind of necessary. Okay, we're at least about halfway there without a fight. Uh, which is nice. There, the first one is gonna More show up now, though. So let's bring up the torchlight. Like. And sue me, I wasted two light there because we used the torch at seventy-seven. <laughs> okay, but I feel at least good about our capabilities of hitting him or hitting um, the prophet. Everybody can attack the fourth row and that's just nice Continually Ooh, good hit. and you need that for the fight it's it's not fun otherwise it really isn't mm, ouch reeling about to break so since I've already talked about what the leper can do the hellion is quite different she is a lot more flexible. Uh, she can attack the back row. Uh, she can move herself forward with breakthrough and all that stuff. She has a really good stun. It's extremely valuable. The Beric Yop might be the best stun in the game. Potentially, because it can't be dodged and it hits two guys. Um, not sure if it's percentage-wise the best, so the, the chance to actually stun. But if you ignore that, at least, it's, it's extremely good. Um, I think there's only two base values anyways. So, for example, the Houndsmaster has one of the higher base values, I think. Um, all that stuff. 
Uh, but she, what she does like is she does not have a protection skill either, like the um, the man at arms does, and she's fairly squishy for a frontliner. Uh, why? Well, once again, this is actually okay, somewhat. I mean, creeping cuff is well, arguably not, and I should have unlocked the snuff box. But on the grave robber can cure diseases, and she can cure her own disease. Uh, so if I get a disease on somebody on a Grave Robber, it's still um, the best. Obviously, minus 20% damage is not good. So we end up at plus 5% damage right now, thanks to... Um, thanks to Dismiss's head. And I'd like to avoid getting too much stress here. I also realize this, I, I'm getting a bit sloppy, and I shouldn't. I shouldn't have killed the, the Acolyte in the, not the Acolyte, the Courtier in the back. I should have killed the Courtier uh, in third, because she can Iron Swan only in fourth. And I don't care too much about the the positions at the back. I care more about the ones in front. The issue about Iron Swan is she can only use that in, in, in front, so I can't use that right now, but... Obviously, right now, it, it does not matter if we can use it or not. Since there's no enemy in, in the back. Another one falls. So, in the Sonorous Prophet, Prophet fight, I will obviously not use Duelist Advance, I think. I think there's no real value to that. There might be if the Repost is helpful. But since the Prophet is the only one attacking and he might not attack us... I'm not completely sure there. We'll see, we'll see. Um, so now we're just gonna soften him up, and then with Iron Swan we can kill him. Like so. Uh, I'm just hoping that the, the buffs themselves that we can get before the boss fight will be able to, to deal stuff. I'm not quite sure why I'm so nervous he's, he's about the, the Sonorous Prophet fight. Um, Specifically, I just remember it being pretty bad uh, in terms of stress, at least. I'm not quite sure about the rest, so we'll. I, maybe I'm misremembering here. It's it's been a while since I've done that. Uh, that one. Uh, yeah, we should start healing by now. Okay. And there we go. So we'll start with these. Sure, let's fall. let's take the bandage as well. So wasn't this the holy fountain something that I need holy water for, which I actually have by now? Okay, so it's with holy water, it's a stress heal for 20, it cures a status effect and heals for 12 hit points. And without it, it's either a stress heal. So half of base, almost half of what it is for heal for 10, cures status effect and heals five hit points, or it gives us loot. So I think we're still gonna go for the holy water thing on her because it gets rid of her entire stress. Didn't. 18, okay. Oh yeah. Maybe? Why? It should have been 20, didn't it? Or did they rebalance that? What does one item influence that that I'm not aware of it? Oh, nice. Cabinet. Oh, all the heirlooms. This is good. Okay, now we get rid of this. Get rid of those. I know we still have the citrine, but right now the citrine is still more worth it than the stuff that I've dumped, I think. So we'll keep it for now. Uh, let's let the torch ride run low, because we're going to camp now anyways. It might be bad if there's a fight here. But there isn't also no scout, so we won't know where the boss fight is. Unfortunately. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. Okay, and now and we'll go for our buffs. As I've said, she We'll go with Battle Trance first. Then sharpen spear, maybe. No, let's go with clean guns. Yes. She does not have anything, so we'll go with her sharpened 
beer next, which leaves us with two. And what can we do with that? Not much. Night moves, we could go, yeah, we could go night moves and just hope that it will reveal a secret room after the boss fight for us. And I guess that's what we're going for. So let's see about nighttime ambush. There we go, we get one. But not a bad one. Let's see about the shuffle. It's okay. Certainly could be better, but it also could be a lot worse. Let's still focus on the guy in the back. That's the one I'm worried about the most right now. 6 to 11 with a 25% crit chance. This is nice. Mm, not quite. So I'm going to use her as well. Uh, she won't be able to do much back there. Uh, we'll just move her forward slowly. But that's okay. This is less okay. At least they're they're splitting up their attacks, but we can heal against that. It's more the stress that is annoying about that than anything else. Good hit. Um, okay, now this is an interesting question because we can kill him. I think we can try. Yeah, let's do that still. But I would have liked to have been able to heal here, but he would have gotten another round of attacks, and that I didn't want to give him. So what we're going to do is just um, eat some food. Uh, so last time the boss was down from the position, the, the, the swine prince. So let's check out if that's the case here as well. I mean, it's 50-50 since I didn't get the scout. Ooh, good dodge on the trap. Let's see what's behind door A. It's the boss. Perfect. 126, Sonorous Prophet, Calamitous Prognostication. I can actually pronounce that. Okay, so now she's going to get hit by something soon-ish, if I remember correctly. And we'll just... Yeah, we'll, I'm still just trying to focus him down here, I think. Everybody can attack in the back. You get rewards for killing these, but killing them takes time, and I don't want to. We'll just do that. The other way around. I think they just give money if you kill them. That's not too bad. Much rather focus on him if we can. Fortunately, we can't increase her protection or anything. Um, well, no. Okay, that also doesn't. So we'll just Iron Swan. But we're we're dealing a lot of damage here. Already 45 hit points after one turn. Uh, yeah, this. I don't think this is gonna stick around long, especially if everything goes our way. Now this time he's going for two targets. Okay. Still not too worried about it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, the, the ramp up here, I was... Oh, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm worried. I'm not sure if this is good or not. We're still gonna be safe and use Toxin Trickery here. And now that I'm in here and I've seen what we did to him after the first time, I'm like, ah. Oh. Ah, it's easy. I'm not sure if that's gonna stay that way, but let's assume so. That <laughs> grit was nice. Uh, let's see, fulminate. Yeah, that's... Why did I remember this fight to be about stress? It really isn't. Or does he have something else that I'm not aware of? Maybe I just misremember this fight being... Or I just remembered it being bad, and I just, in my mind, always connect that to issues with stress but in this case it, it wasn't about that so I'm I'm really tempted to just let him live for a turn and go for at least the first one here but I guess we're just gonna keep killing him why not these guys th these things are gonna die and despawn uh, for, on their own by the way once we kill him let's heal ourselves be safe in case these things drop too early she should not be there. So there we go. They will not. We'll just we'll just win. Let's 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 say that. So I would have gotten extra reward here if uh, I had killed one or uh, one or two or three of these. Um, but we didn't. Uh, so now we're gonna dump the two citrines, possibly. Yeah, sure. That and now we're gonna continue because I did go for the scouting thing and we wanna 
I mean, we're looking good. This was really no big issue, and there's a lot of curio interactions left for us to do. Uh, we might find something interesting there. Also, my loot, uh, more loot, or a secret room. And let's see about that. Okay. Wow. Okay. Just two. Don't don't overdo it. Darkest dungeon. Please, please let me live. Another abomination. <laughs> yes, overconfidence and such. I'm aware. I'm I'm very much aware, but it's against two enemies. I'm really not worried, especially against two zombies. Because they're slow. They they will they will not get their turn. There's no way about that. This fight is a different matter, but I still think we, we will be good here. We still have our uh, combat buffs for this fight left. Uh, let's make sure that these still die quickly, though. That he's down to one hit point is a bit of a bummer. Decimated. Uh, just feels like such a waste to use his rip, uh, duelist advance, so we'll use the judgment instead. Not sure if that makes it better, but I think the judgment does deal less damage. Yeah. And it has a nice side effect that we can heal her up as well on the same at the same time. Oh, is he gonna kill himself? He is. Thank you so much for that. He wasn't so nice. He saw what happened there and thought, nope, not gonna do that as well. Okay. Um, sure. Let's just. I I could possibly heal him a little bit. Yeah, might have been the right call to be honest. But let's let's. It's still okay. We can just heal him next Remind turn, yourself that overconfidence or next slow and next fight. Killer. So now we dump. Do I see? We don't see any obstacles, so I can dump. Um, the shovels first. We'll take all. We'll do this before I forget about it, as I tend to. And then we open up this heirloom chest. Okay, now we're at the point where I have to value the, light, um, the, the heirlooms higher. We still need a lot of upgrades. I can't just go for the money. And I'm still at about 100k in terms of, of gold, uh, which is a very comfortable position to be in. I assume that will drop significantly once I really move into the veteran dungeons, because then I need a good amount of money to upgrade skills and uh, weaponry and, and armor and stuff like that. Uh, and maybe spend some money on camping skills as well, because then I will need some of the buffs more. Um, but right now we're we're in a position where I need the heirlooms more. The secret rooms take care of most of the money problems right now, as long as we can find them. So let's see what we'll get there. Hunger. Okay, we're down to eight food. That should be more than enough as well. I do not have a bandage. What do you mean, halt? You don't get to decide that. You're not the boss of me. Whew. Four spiders. Always fun. The issue with that is they don't leave a corpse, so she can't iron swan. Not sure if that's a bad thing. Probably not. Ooh, that dodge is a bad thing. Though, there is no question about that, and we do have a chance to kill one of them. No! Survived by one. Well, I guess in that case, I stun them rather than kill them. I like that more than... Having one of them still attack us, I don't like them focusing one guy. If they crit, it's just dangerous. As unlikely as that is. Also, it helps me get out of my overconfident mindset that I uh, was starting to employ here. Um, yeah, that's just not safe. So better overly cautious than the other way around. Um, sure, I think we want to heal here. 27, yeah, let's heal him. Good heal. And there we go, bye-bye. Okay, um... Success so no. clearly in view. Or is it merely... No scout, unfortunately. I can't go for that yet, because I would need to use the key there, but I'm still hoping for a secret room. 
And since I only have one key left, we'll we'll keep it at that. Okay. And I'm still not sure which ones of these are more dangerous. If it's the, the spitters or the webbers. I usually tend to go for the spitters first, just because they have more blight. But I, I really don't know which ones technically are stronger. Let's see if we can stun the one. We can. So no action for you. Okay. This is good. And there we go. This expedition at Shiro least promises oh, success. I can't pronounce that. I mean, it's... I know how I want to pronounce it, which would be... I will pronounce it in German, but that sounds weird. Because in... The English word surgeon in German would be Chirurg. Which is exactly written, like it's it's there, is, except for the E-O-N-S at the end. So that's why this confuses me, because it's... it's in my mind, it, it my mind screams half German, half English in this case. So that's just weird. Uh, but back to the matter at hand. Should we loot this? Let's... Okay, no scout out of this. Uh, we should not take any of that, I think. Yeah. And we can open these without the need of a key. So we're going to do that. That's four more busts. And now I'm going to get rid of the... Home. Blight charm first. So there we go. Yeah, I already dumped the shovels. We still need the one key. We have three rooms left to get scouts in, or two, something like that. But if I run into another hunger tile, I might have to leave. Yeah, we have two rooms left to to go to get a scout in. That might reveal one or not. We'll see. Hmm. Contain stashed heirlooms. More crests. Extremely happy about getting more crests, to be honest. Uh, as we do need that to upgrade uh, the blacksmith. Um, it's nice to, to get more of them. At some point, there. the weird thing about crests is I always tend to undervalue them. Some, at least, usually. Just because they're the, the heirlooms that can stack the highest. Uh, the crests here. They're just... And that makes them feel less valuable because you, in my mind always, in my mind that translates to, since you can stack them higher, they need to be worth less than the other heirlooms. Which is not necessarily the case. They might be, because you need them for, for less stuff, but they are still very valuable because you need them for the important upgrade. Okay, can we get the stun? We can, that's good. But I don't know, this is, it's always why I, I tend to dump crests first, I think, in favor of other heirlooms. But right now I need to remind myself that I should not do that. As long as I can upgrade the blacksmith, or need to upgrade the blacksmith. We need to value deeds and crests the highest, I think. Uh, so let's see if we can get the madman. We can. Thank you so much for that. Also should raise this to get my damage bony for him. So we attacked him. Well, we got the Ancestor's Candle, but not the Sun Ring bonus on that one. Okay, one more. Ooh, ouch. Could you please not? We're on Kaon stress. I mean, 36 is still not that high, but it's, it's starting to, to get there. Um... I don't think we need to heal here. Let's just go for that. A little bit of judgment. I could stun these two as well to be really on the safe side, but I think I'm just gonna go with Adrenaline Rush, remove the bleed. It's not a big bleed, but it sticks around for four turns, uh, which is just super annoying. Speaking of super, super annoying things, okay, it's just for three rounds though? Okay, this is con confuses me now, because if it would have been, if it had stacked, it would have been a bleed for two for more rounds, but it was a bleed for one for four rounds? 
Is there a variable on how long they can stick around, or am I just confused again? That's not out of the question, by the way. <laughs> Either way, they're dead, and we're good. So speaking of crests but a again, nonetheless. Um, I think I'm gonna dump the torch now and go into the darkness. The slow descent. I'm not gonna touch that again. Might give us another disease. But we'll need to make these last two fights without the um, the light bonuses, which is potentially scary, but hopefully will work out. I mean, the, this group is pretty good, so I'm not too worried about it, but you'll never know. Uh, I'm going for the Cutthroat because I want to Iron Swan. In hindsight, we if we had killed him, we would have not get attacked there, but I still... Alternatively, she can only attack the guy in front. That's the guy I'm least worried about right now. Uh, also, because I noticed it again, a Highwayman and... A Hellion together are not the best combination. I think he works much better with everything but her. Just because she needs to be in, in front to use Iron Swan. And that means I can't use his Duelist Advance, which I would have wanted to use there, I think. Now we can because we... As long as there's an Iron Swan target, it's, it's, it's not that ideal. Uh, just with all these area attacks that they did, the repost would always have been doing something. And I couldn't really make use of that because I valued the Iron Swan higher. Uh, that might have also be my fault and not the game's fault in that case. Uh, but I think there's... It's just that I, I was in this dilemma. And in my opinion, that was the best way to handle that. Once again, no scout. And I need to sneeze, so I need to mute myself for a moment here. Sorry. Just a fair warning, might not have been the last one. They usually tend to show up in groups for me. Uh, so this gold might be worth more than other stuff again. So we're going to go with a bloodied fetish next and get rid of that. Don't we, we'll never really use that anyways. <sighs> Another one where I could use the key on, but we're going to go for this last room first. And I'm gonna come back for something, or maybe, I mean, it's it's a room battle with treasure, which might mean a chest, so I could just use the key there as well. But if it's an heirloom chest, I don't need to use a key to, to open that up. Uh, so there's... That's, I could, it, could, it could give me an extra curio if I can, can go the extra way. Okay, this is just a box. I was, I was, I really was expecting this to be another Shambler altar. Okay, okay, we got more food. Just because the last time I dumped my torches to make room, we immediately found a Shambler altar um, that I consequently could not activate. Well, now I screwed myself a little bit because I forgot to switch these to position again. If he goes first, it's not an issue, but I'm not sure that he will. Okay, he does. That's good. So we can bring her back up front, and she can still iron swan there. Although I will not, just because the judgment does the, about the same job, and it's less of a waste. We can just kill the guy in front now with her, and we then we only have the arbalist to deal with. Oh, she did not kill him. What's wrong with you? Ow, ow. Yeah, going down in, in light. More monster accuracy and damage. I think this also translates to more crit, if I remember correctly. And I don't like that. We were looking good until things went dark. Then things started to turn, get dark. Literally. Um, well... It's still okay. She will have to, or both of them probably will have to get rid of some stress. Um, but it, that's okay. It happens. And bye bye. It's the last fight, anyways. And I think I'm going to use the key here if we don't get the scout. 
has victories mounted. We don't get a scout, so, so we'll just use the key resistance. here. It's fine. And that's so many heirlooms. This is good. In terms of crests, this was amazing. 36? Oh boy. 18 busts as well, 6 deeds. 8, eight deeds, even better. And 3 portraits. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. Yeah, it, it really shows. It's not a lot of money, because we didn't get a lot of um, uh, Onyx and stuff like that. What's it called? <laughs> it's not jewelry. I'm missing a word here. Um, Clutch Hitter is not that important. Eldritch Slayer is fine. The Fitz is not good, of course. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Deviant Taste, Wheel Adventurer. Okay. Hmm. A ray of sunlight. Okay, this is good. So before I forget about it, you, Roussel, are getting the snuff box. Before I forget to buy it, even. Just for future reference. Uh, Tournay will get rid of the fits. And then, do you have flagellate? We'll only flagellate for stress relief. We can arrange that, of course. Well, let me, let me... Just because the game has a tendency to not save me unequipping trinkets if I do that as the last action. Uh, we'll do that now. So flagellate. And then Roussel can only... Gambler. We'll only gamble. Okay. So let her gamble. And there we go. Uh, in terms of other stress, we're okay, I think. Yeah, nice. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. If you want to catch me live on during one of my streams on Twitch, feel free to follow the link to my channel and follow me there to get notified when I stream. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel here if you haven't done so already. And then, because this is the end card, in case you haven't noticed yet, here are two more uh, suggestions as to what else you could watch from me. And that's it. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye.